Hey YouTube, it's Frohan here with yet another series. Uh, it should, by this time, I should have Portal getting close to finished up as well as Age of Empires and have some more series on the way, including this one. And we have a special present for you today. Yet another person. This is Impartial Pine. Hi. And we're doing World of Tanks. If you haven't seen this before, it's pretty self-explanatory. World of Tanks. You tank. It's kind of like a first-person shooter. It's an MMO. Free to play. Uh, you just go worldoftanks.com. Uh, pretty sure that's what it's called. Uh, download the client. Just get signed up, and you can do this as well. I have been doing this for about a month or so. Impartial. You just started yesterday. Yeah, I've gotten yeah. pretty far leveling up tanks. It's yeah. Kind of a tedious process of mm. grinding. Yeah, a lot of grinding, especially with tanks that are bad. But uh, you can see here the way the tanks work. I'm gonna open up the tank tree, a tech tree called the tank tree because it's a tree of tanks and technology. You got five con wait no six countries. You have U.S. Um, tanks. Once this loads eventually, the U.K. tank tree, the German tank tree, the French tank tree. The USSR or Russian tank tree and the Chinese tank tree. Chinese tank tree is the newest one, I'm pretty sure. It has the least amount of tanks. It only has really two tank lines. It's and one of them ends in a heavy tank, one ends in a medium tank. You got six basic type of types of tanks. You have light tanks, they're really pretty self-explanatory, they're really lightweight. Not too much armor, not too much in the way of a gun either, but they're usually faster, and they're kind of scout. You have medium tanks, they're better for flanking, so you can go around the edge of a map and go for uh, the weak tanks, kind of strike from behind, shoot off a couple of shots, go behind some cover, and run away, basically. So a lot of, a lot of running away, unless you have some German. German medium tanks, I'll pull those up here. After tier 5, they are built like heavy tanks, so you can pretty much just go out in the open, absorb a lot of damage, shoot some things, you still have to go back to cover occasionally, but not as much as with some of the other ones. Then you have the medium tanks leading lead into the heavy tanks, which it's pretty self-explanatory as well. It's got a lot of armor, good gun, a lot of hit points. And you're you're bit, you're like a, a tank, kind of. <laughs> Except with the heavy tanks, you are a bit slower. Yeah. So. Well, there are some light, lightweight heavy tanks that are fast, but um, they don't have as much armor. So it's kind of either get a good gun, either get good armor or good speed. It's kind of whatever your play style is. And then you have tank destroyers, which. They are, some of them are fast, some of them are slow. They have really good frontal armor, not so great side and rear armor, but basically their main point is their giant gun on the front. Some of them are, they do have a turret that can spin around. I think only the American ones have that uh, turret. Um, uh, you know, the M8A1 here does, and most of the tanks after it, I think all of them. And all of the ones after the Wolverine have a turret as well. But most of them, they have it fixed forward. You can only turn it left and right so far. It depends on the tank. And the gun is really strong. But sometimes they have a long reload time. And then last, there's only six types, I, I said. I mean, there's only five tanks, I said. Six. There's only five types. I miscounted. Because I can't think right now. Uh, you have the SPGs or artillery tanks. Um which they they kind of hang back at the back of the map and then they shoot across the map and they're kind of like the snipers their armor is pretty bad but their gun is really good and it's made to kill pretty much everything but it does take with a lot of them they do take a long time to reload and then on the mini maps you'll see here once we eventually get into a game once I eventually stop talking <laughs> they each tank you can see here in the tech the tech tree as well they each have their different symbols, the 
Light tanks, it's just a basic diamond, no lines through it. Medium tanks, uh, it's a diamond with one line through it. Heavy tanks, it is a diamond with three lines through it. The tank destroyers, the triangle, and the artillery or SPG. I'm going to call them artillery because it's easier than saying SPG. Self-propelled gun is what SPG stands for. Their symbol is a square. So, I think that's everything. I will be playing as an artillery. Yep. What will you be playing as? Um, I'm going to kind of alternate through there. I'm going to start off with my KV-1. It's a heavy tank. It's pretty good. It's a Russian heavy tank. Um, I have the 85mm gun on it. It um, has a pretty good reload speed as well as damage. It's not quite the derp gun that it has, the 122mm, where it does an insane amount of damage and has an insane reload speed, 15 seconds. Uh, but then I'll probably, um, once I get enough credits built up, I will go back to the um, probably the Martyr 2. It is a um, tank destroyer. And maybe even back to the 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 Panzerwaffe one C. Um, it's a light tank. I'm just kind of mousing over these right here, and uh, that we'll just kind of see how it goes. Um, there are some kind of dull parts in these games, as um, if you have played this before, um, or currently playing this, or will play this in the future, you'll see. In the games, there are some kind of dull points where nothing happens, and you're just waiting for somebody to do something. I will probably cut those out if they're too long, so that it's a little more entertaining. And I think that's it. Are you ready? Uh, we're platooning. Platoon is where you can um, have, like, if you're friends with somebody, or you just add them to your friend list, you can both play in the same server, you're kind of like on a mini mini team in your, within your team. And it's, uh, it, um, what would you say, kind of certifies that you're gonna be in the same server. So, that's good. Let's get going. Have a bad computer. <sighs> At least my mouse works. <laughs>